Gravitation with observation, I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong, we disagree. We can move on, but we can still stand strong. Hey man, shout out to everybody that hit that like, comment, and subscribe button yesterday. Y'all was really rocking with me. Hey, uh, first off, we gonna shout out Say Cheese. Shout out Sean Cotton, you feel me? I love your work, big homie. Love what you been doing, you feel me, big dog. Bootsy, legend, 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 legend. Rock with Bootsy. You know what's crazy, Bootsy? I'm gonna be honest, bro. I didn't realize that many people back in oh like oh six oh seven oh oh eight and probably you know but anyways bro out here in southern california was really rock especially in the compton and watts area i did not know that that's crazy but anyways bro let's get to the situation at hand as you can see you feel me from the post from say cheese tv uh boosie had a problem with the uh color purple the movie he had a problem with that he had a problem with the storyline right um, I don't think he probably wasn't aware that it was going to be, you know, <laughs> what it was going to be and what he saw. You feel me? So obviously it was some homosexual um, events that took place in that movie. Now, mind you, I have never seen um, the movie, the second one. I, have, I haven't seen the second one, so I'm not sure. But my question for Bootsy, right, because he had a seven and nine year old daughter. And it's, you know, just just me. I'm just, you know, observing, you know, observation. <laughs> you didn't like what you saw, right? That's fine. So you had to get out the way. So if you had Tootie Raw there, right, that and he was seven and nine or he probably was there with his cousins. And let's just say it was a heterosexual scene like baby boy. You feel me? Yvette and Jody. Would you have took the same action? Would you have taken the same action? Would you have got up and walked out? Would you have turned his head? Or would you let him see to get down? Asking the question, you feel me? Like I said, I rock with Boosie. Number two, what, what kind of throw me off though, Boo, Boosie Boo? And I'm not trolling when I'm saying that. I'm being serious. I rock with you. Um, The first color purple wasn't kid friendly. That's what got me scratching my head. I'm like, bro, the first one wasn't uh, kid-friendly. That came out in 1980, 1983 or 1984. You know what I'm saying? That first one wasn't. You had uh, Danny Glover. You had um, Whoopi Goldberg. I think you had a young Lynn Whitfield, if I'm not mistaken. Brandy from um, Brandy from Thin Line Between Love and Hate. You also had a young Lawrence Fishburne. <sighs> There's so many other people that I miss. I would know, but... Yeah, you had all these, you know, heavy hitters at that time. The first one kind of made you like, I, I know my son said he read the book in, in high school and said, you feel me? You know, he had to, he, he couldn't even finish. He had to close. You feel me? Like, bro, what? Is, is this true? So, um, yeah, that's, that's what threw me off. Like the first one wasn't kid friendly. So what made you think it would be any different? And at the same time too, right? I'm going to be real. i never seen the first one. Never seen the first one. But those, I just know the iconic lines. And everybody know the iconic lines in that first one. And what really sparked my, you feel me, like, oh, okay, that's where that came from. As far as the lines. Remember when they was in the bar and they was playing the piano. And old dude, he shut it down and said, oh, time to go after the keys. I remember that vividly because that's what Andre 3000 did with John Legend on Greenlight in 2007. I remember that. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's that. Okay. And then also when Whoopi Gar like, you show sure is ugly. Like, and I hate to have the media try to paint Whoopi Goldberg, Whoopi Goldberg, bro. Beautiful woman. Beautiful chocolate woman, bro. Beautiful. As a kid, I used to I used to say the same thing too. You feel me? But yeah, that's but yeah, like I say, like just those iconic lines, you know, Mr. You feel me? You know, all my life I had to like all that stuff so you would know that so i know boozy i know you've seen the first one big dog i know you've seen the first one but what i was thinking too was that you got taraji p henson you have fantasia you have um uh Haley, Haley bailey not chloe it was Haley. damn well, i'm forgetting these names bro and i usually be knowing but anyways I'm thinking probably Boosie is looking at it like, okay, my seven and nine year old, you know, those are black women that you want to look up to. They're a positive role, a positive image for the community. 
So that's why he took, you know, his seven and nine year old to go see that movie. You get what I'm saying? And I don't like the fact how people attacking Bootsy, saying like, okay, well, you you know, you got a song called Dyking, but you mad that your daughter is one or something. And I'm like, bro, check this out. Bootsy, in this, like, as you're looking at the post, he don't have no problem with that. But at the same time, he just don't want his kids being exposed to that. And that's okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm, hey, you have a right to raise your kids how you want to raise your kids. Like I said, bro, just because Boosie drink alcohol, is he supposed to let his kids drink alcohol? What you do on your own time is what you do on your own time. Some stuff is still inappropriate for kids, for children. That's why if you look at the beginning of this video, I don't have to say it again. That's why, that's why I prompt that question. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said that. But I'm gravitational with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Like I say, we disagree. We can move on, but we can still stand strong. Like, comment, and subscribe, big dog. It's PJ Gravity. You know what it is.